Hey guys, OG Apex Adam here. Today we're sorry it's been a while. I've been kind of busy lately, starting because I'm starting college tomorrow. So anyway, first off, we want to get this blue ginger right under there. By the way, you're probably gonna get hit by that shark, so don't get mad when you do because even I can't do it without getting hit. But don't worry, you immediately. By the way, if you stomp on those things like the I can't remember what it's called but when you do that by the way there's some notes in here the trees now there are two new moves in this world in case you didn't see what now I'm gonna go ahead and just get those two moves over with ready now you'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Alright, so basically just hold A and you'll jump really high. And there's a Mumbo token up there, although Mumbo's skull is not present in this level. There's only like four levels, I think, that he's present. I remember. In the next game, he's present in all of them, but... We you climb up this, you can get the second Jinjo. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, ball guys. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Now yeah, that's all the moves. Now let's focus on like getting this stuff. And Blubber, and I lost my treasure when the ship crashed. We'll go find it then, Blubber Guts. Or, but I can't swim. Can you help me and see the boat? Alright, now that's probably gonna be the first jiggy we get. But first of all, if you climb up here, there's another Mumbo token. Now, first off, you wanna ground pound on that Beak Buster, I think that's what it's called. Inside here, there's some notes, a mumbo token, and the main prize, which is these gold bars. Now let's hop out of here. There's actually two of them. Try to bring that to him, he'll just tell you there's not enough because he got two of them. Then go into this little hole on the side of the ship. So you can see there's some more notes. Then go bring it to him to get this world's first jiggy. Alright, now there's this other one that, that, that you can alternatively f just fly to it, but I'm gonna actually show you the actual way to it. Ah, uh, just screw that. 
I'll get that later when we actually get to that side quest. Yeah, it looks like we're not actually going to be able to get this all done in one video. We're already at the five minute mark and I'm not even halfway done. I think this level is going to be a two-parter. Here's your second jiggy. Now we're actually going to start flying for the first time. There's some notes in here. Just be careful not to get yourself hurt. This little spiral, like not really a staircase, but like a just little slanted path. Now just ground pound on this. There you are, to fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. Now we're that beak can only carry 50. Now we're actually going to go the long way. First of all, there's a second to get to it there because you could alternatively just drop fly there, but I'm going to get a bunch of stuff on my way over there. So yeah, we're actually going to go the long way to get that little treasure chest, t talking treasure chest thing, side quest. By the way, in here, I think, I, I can't remember what's in there, but it's, oh, two mumbo tokens. Oh yeah, if you swim to the bottom of this. Uh, there's a jiggy. That should be your fourth one of this level. And as you can see, there's the next place. Or you stomp. Here's three more notes. Stomp on this. Now, as you can see, that's where it is. We're actually going to manually walk over there so we can get the stuff on the way. Uh, some more notes. This one is actually a lot easier to get if you just fly over there because I already got most of the stuff over there anyway. 
There's the purple ginger right there. Now carefully get all the notes. And the next one's actually really freaking easy. Now just use the remove. All right, so that's your fifth Yugi. Now we're actually gonna go back up to where we're doing the shock jump. We're gonna jump down. Then fill them up with some eggs. Alright, now you just gotta stomp on Banjo Kazooie. B A N J O K A C O O I E Then just go get your jiggy. Now before we leave here, I'm actually gonna show you where one of the honey honeycomb pieces are. Hope we have time. We should be have time if it's a 90 seconds till it's at the 15 minute mark. And hopefully I can find it in time because it is kind of hard to find. It's just in the middle of the ocean. Now you'll see like a little crate just floating in the middle of the ocean. There it is. That has the first honeycomb on it. Now you have to swim back to shore as fast as you can. Alright, now it's one place we want to go right before we leave. Maybe we might be able to get this jiggy. <laughs> yeah, we probably will. And that's how you get your seventh jiggy, I think. And that's it for this part. Join me next time where we'll continue our way through Treasure Trove Cove.